It's the multi-million dollar question for the city. What's next for the rail yards? After Mayor Tim Keller publicly cut ties with the project's first developer, the city now is getting the ball rolling again with a new set of experts. News 13's Chris McKee is here to explain. Yeah, Dean, the city's hired a team of consultants who are working on a sort of roadmap for the city with a lot of options on how to clean up the rail yards, plan and pay for redevelopment, and also how to ensure that people like it. The potential for a mixed-use development we think is very high. While the city still sees tons of potential, there's one take on the rail yards most can agree with. And after 12 years, we have still not seen any development taking place. But it is the Keller administration now trying to hit reset on those efforts. Yes, it's a different approach than was done previously. Planning Director David Campbell says the different approach to the project starts with a new team of consultants. It's a special site. Who are now working on a new plan for the rail yard's future. These are experts in this field to give us the best recommendations that they have based on their experience and based on other similar industrial reuse sites from around the country. The group, made out of two out-of-state firms and one local firm, they toured the rail yards this week. Some of the words that we've been saying are industrial cathedral, uh, awe-inspiring. Factoring in things like asbestos contamination cleanup, repair costs, building conditions, and which areas might be best to develop first. The consultants shared initial observations with the Albuquerque Development Commission today. We don't plan to give you the, the recommendation at all. We plan to give you some options. Based on their work redeveloping places like Portland, Oregon's South Waterfront and the Stapleton Airport in Denver, the city hopes the consultants can lay the roadmap for the rail yard's future. And that they will give us uh, uh, their recommendations for the direction that we want to go. Now, the city says it is expecting a report from this consultant team in the next couple months, and so far, the contract with this team doesn't go beyond an analysis, so that means they're not developers yet. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. The city says it is also moving forward with a voluntary environmental cleanup plan for the site that will be coordinated with the state and they will have to hold public meetings about that soon.